good, gooder, better, best. Let me introduce you to my favorite wood of all time. This particular board is curly white oak up here, and there's actually some crotch grain in this curly white oak. A ton of figure and just a beautiful, beautiful board. The problem with that is it's one of the most difficult boards to plane. Um, the grain is going up and down this way as well as up and down this way. Uh, it is just an absolute mess, and no matter which way you come at it, you're going to get tear out. And if you come at it from one side and get tear out, and then you come at it from the other side and get tear out, you're going to get this compounding tear out that tears out these large chunks, like you can see right here. Now the traditional method to clean this up and really keep, get it going is to use a card scraper, and this works really well. Um, you just kind of got to use the method for it. And I have a whole video on sharpening and using a card scraper, and it works fairly well, and with a little bit of practice, you can remove most any tear out from most any situation, and you get these fine little curls that uh, slowly take it down. The problem with a card scraper is that it leaves the surf surface uh, slightly fuzzy. It's never quite smooth, and I always have that feeling that I need to come back and sand it. Also, it leaves a lot of uh, little dust beside the curls, and I don't want to get dust into the surface. Now, I could come at this and sand it all down and get it down perfectly with sanding, but then I'd be forcing dust into all of the pores, cracks, and crevices. And that will really ruin the figure when this comes out. Um, if you can keep those pores nice and clean, they shine. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. Whereas if you sand it, it starts to dull it a little bit. And uh, that's just something I'm kind of picky about. The other thing that most people will commonly do is grab a cabinet scraper. Now this takes all the guesswork out of a card scraper. If you're working on a flat surface, a cabinet scraper will make these curls very easily with very little dust. And you can very quickly plane down a surface. And this, this works fantastically and, and works a lot faster than the card scraper, especially on large flat surfaces. I have a video on the cabinet scraper and setting it up as well if you want to see that. But as with, as with the card scraper, it still leaves the surface a little fuzzy. Not quite as much because there is a sole that does a little bit of burnishing on it. But it's still not quite what I want. Now my preferred method of finishing this is with a smoothing plane. I have an entire video on setting up a smoothing plane as well. And in basic, if you get the mouth really tight, you get the chip breaker set very, very close to the edge of the iron so that they're right down next to each other. And you get a very shallow cut so it's not taking out a whole lot. And you make this as sharp as you can possibly make it. Then it will clean up the surface very nicely. The problem is, that process of setting up a smoother to be so precise and perfect can take, you know, 20 minutes or more. And every time you sharpen it, you have to reset it up again. And moving the mouth in and out with a frog is just an absolute pain. Um, this just isn't set up for fine adjustments really, really easily. Um, the the uh, rear adjuster also makes it move a little bit faster than I would like. And you just have this tiny bit of movement here um, forces the blade in and out a fairly large amount. And this is what I've been using, and when it's set up right, it will do this board beautifully without any tear out, without any dust, and you get a nice clean surface. But the moment you have to sharpen it, you have to redo all the setup on it. And that is where this comes in. This is actually a plane made by Veritas. Uh, they've completely redesigned the hand plane. Most companies start with the Bailey pattern, and then they jump into what they want to do with it. Whereas Veritas said, let's make an entirely new plane, and this is fantastic. Um, they sent me this one to play with and show off on some of the smoothing and I, 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 I am so, so impressed. Um, the casting on it is beautiful, but some of the things that make this really special, number one, the frog, you can order a frog at whatever angle you want. I think all the way up to 65 and all the way down to 35, I think it is. I currently have a 60 degree frog in there, um, a great PMV 11 iron. Uh, one of the really cool things on this is the mouth actually can adjust. Rather than moving the frog back and forth to close the mouth, you can move the mouth just like you would with a with a bevel down or with a bevel up plane, and it really does some amazing work. Uh, the other cool thing is it has these set screws on either side that will actually pinch the blade in place. 
So when you pull it out and you sharpen it and you put it back in, those set screws are holding it in the exact same place. So there's almost no adjustment after you sharpen it. And so you can get back into the board in minutes. And so the sharpening and reinstalling of this can literally be done in a minute to two minutes and be right back to the exact same settings with smoothing. And with this, I can get this really nice clean surface. Now this board, I currently have a little bit of a belly in the middle because I was using the card scraper. But with a little bit more work, I'll show you what this will look like. And you saw the video, the picture a little bit earlier of this um, curl and the tear out in it. So let me spend about uh, five minutes or so smoothing it down with this and I'll show you what that looks like afterwards. Now one of the tendencies most people have when they're smoothing is that they want these really nice wispy shavings from one end all the way to the other. And that's really not what a smoothing plane is for because when you're trying to do that, you're trying to flatten the board out. A smoothing plane is not for flattening the board. That's for a joiner to do. A smoothing plane is to make the surface nice and smooth. So it is really not a problem to do spot planing and just take care of a small area with a smoothing plane because a couple thousandths of an inch from this, you're never gonna feel it with your hand. So don't be afraid to just hit your problem area and move on. The only issue is if you take the board out of flat enough that it won't cut, then you have to do longer strokes in order to hit that area. And in this case, I have tear out from one end to the other, so doing full strokes is not a problem. So there you go. After about four or five minutes of smoothing on some of this incredibly difficult wood, uh, this plane has performed phenomenally, and uh, this is now my go-to smoother. Um, beautiful, beautiful plane, and I am loving it. Now, it doesn't take anything away from the, the Stanley um, Bailey pattern plane. Uh, this is a fantastic plane and will work well and will treat you very well as long as uh, you have the time to set it up for uh, smoothing. It, it does a fantastic job, and it's something that I have used now for years and does the work very well. Now some people really like the card scraper or the cabinet scraper. They are basically foolproof ways. Um, you just take that to the wood and they will clean it up without any problem. Uh, they just, they, they work perfectly every time as long as they are sharp. And uh, a great tool to have on hand, um, especially for any tight surface where you're trying to get into something, the card scraper can get right up into a corner and uh, clean up the surface nicely. But for a flat surface, in my mind, nothing beats a smoothing plane, but everyone has their own personal preference. So there you go. Uh, in my mind, there are few things as amazing and fun as a really, really finely set up hand plane. Uh, they can do amazing things that you just don't expect them to. As long as you treat them well and you learn the plane and you get to, uh, get to know how actually it works, um, it will treat you really, really well. Uh, as of the Veritas customizable hand plane, I am going to be loving this thing and using it quite a bit. So you'll see this on several projects coming up, especially with all the dresser. I have a lot of figured wood in there and this will be the perfect tool for that. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit like and go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, I wanna say an incredible thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason why this channel is still here today. So feel free to go check out that over here. And if you did like this video, feel free to check out one of my others. Until next time, have a wonderful day.